So Mickey Gale calls out CM Punk. And UFC has answered the call, apparently. So, yeah. CM Punk is finally going to get into the octagon. And a lot of people have been looking forward to this one way or another. Most people want him to have a great career in the octagon and in ultimate fighting. And then there's the other half that want to see him get his ass whooped. I just want to see a good fight. Now, look, regardless of how you feel about CM Punk, a.k.a. Philip Brooks, look, I just want to see good matches. I want to see good fighting. I don't want to see, you know, hugging and on the ground and just holding. And uh, No, I actually want to see good fights. Some people can produce a good fight. Some people can't. Depends on the situation. Depends on the skill levels of the people that's going in. I mean, come on. It's UFC. It's unpredictable in there. It's not a show. It's actually fucking fighting. With rules, but nevertheless, it's fighting. And I want to address the both sides. So, do you actually think that CM Punk, Philip Brooks, is actually going to do good in the UFC? Or do you want him to get his ass kicked and get sent away? Most people are still upset or like, about him quitting the WWE and leaving and going on a future things or bigger and better things according to him a lot of people don't understand the grasp of the situation we don't know what his frame of mind and his frame of body was he told he he, ta- he talked about it but at the end of the day it's like all right look what would you do in the situation that he was in how he aired out his dirty laundry how frustrated he was how banged up he was yes there are a lot of other people in wwe that probably have those frustrations too but cm punk decided to just up and go I personally don't think that CM Punk was treated all that wrong. I mean, come on. He had titles and titles and titles. He was he just was in the wrong time. And what I mean by that is because even when he was WWE champion, he wasn't in the main events, particularly at WrestleMania. And why? Because of who was at the main event of that WrestleMania where he was WWE champion. Let's think about that. You had The Rock versus Cena. Do you actually think that should have been below? Okay, no matter what, people were thinking that the champion should take place on the last of the card. They should be at the top and so on and so forth. I can agree with that. But this is not the first. It wasn't that wasn't the first WrestleMania that that happened. There's been Lawrence Taylor versus Bam Bam Bigelow as a main event. You had the tag team as a main event on the first WrestleMania. You, you, you've had all kinds of things happen, even in certain other shows. I remember back then on Saturday night's main event when Hulk Hogan lost the championship to Andre the Giant. Yeah, he had to shoulder up or whatever, whatever. That wasn't the main event of the show. It, it doesn't happen often, but it does happen. And don't get me wrong, CM Punk, Yes, he was the champion, and he was saying that he was the best in the world. But was he a bigger name than John Cena? What he Was he a bigger name than The Rock? In my opinion, don't think so. Yes, CM Punk went against Jericho, and that match wasn't even all that anyway because of the stipulation that was added for that fucking WrestleMania match. But at the end of the day, I don't think that CM Punk was treated all that wrong. He was the longest champion of the modern era. 434 days. Yeah, beat that, motherfucker. Even Brock Lesnar didn't even do that. (laughs) Roman Reigns, he won't do that. Damn, he surpassed John Cena as far as that vote. John Cena was the longest in the current era until CM Punk ushered in and took it. And look who took the title from him. It was The Rock in order to prepare for another Rock Cena match. Even though a lot of people have their opinions about it, but that I just think that it was just the wrong timing as far as him being WWE champion at that time. That's just my opinion. But back to the UFC situation. I, I do want to see CM Punk get in there and perform and do his all. He does have a Muay Thai background, and he has been training for any fight. So now it's finally going to happen. We're finally going to see him in the octagon. So what does he have? You know, what? Is he going to do good? Do you want to see him do good? Do you want to see him get knocked the fuck out? I personally want to see a good match. 
And if he wins, fine. If he loses, damn. What does that say if he loses? Will he lose three straight and then that's it? Or will he have a big-ass winning streak? Will he prove himself? Will he actually be great? Only time will tell. So, yeah, I really am looking forward to it because, yes, I'm a wrestling fan, but love the UFC, love ass whooping, love action. I just, I just want to see a good match when it happens. So, yeah. Anyway, this is the theme. And I'll see you later. Credits.